Hey guys, welcome back, and we have finally got our information regarding Raikou Raid Day, guys. Uh, my friend Dave, shout out to Dave, um, Dave for this for this picture because he just sh showed me this. But um, they just confirmed the date and time for Raikou Raid Day, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So, congrats on unlocking all Sparks Global Challenge bonus trainers. Your hard work helped unlock the ability to battle the legendary Pokemon Raikou in raids on June 29th at 4 p.m. local time. If you're lucky, you may even encounter a shiny Raikou. So, yes. There you have it, guys. So, it's going to be June 29th. And it's going to be now, instead of uh, instead of the 11 to 2 o'clock time, if I'm going to say that was the old time they did. They're going to be doing it from 4 p.m. I'm assuming they're running it from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., which will make the most sense. Because by then, the raid's going to be ending by then. Which... That's actually really good for a lot of people because it's going to be majority the afternoon to the evening, which is actually really good. I definitely approve this for sure. And I approve it because I usually work mornings. So this is actually going to be super useful for me for sure. So really excited for this. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, in this video, we're going to be going over Raikou a little bit more. And then we're going to be going into a little bit of a raid guide talking about Raikou. So... But I, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Let's go on Go Hub, and I will go ahead. Let's go over Raikou. So, and also, guys, as as I'm making this video, Kyogre is currently out out right now. So, if you guys have yet to see the Kyogre raid guide I made, be sure to check that out. Link will be in the description. I remember to put that on there. So, with that, let's go on Go Hub, and let's talk. Let's take a look at Raikou. All right, guys. So here we are with Raikou. The uh, his pure electric type. We went over this before, but we're gonna go ahead in a little more detail regarding this, this Pokemon here. So a 100% Raikou maxes out at 3,452. Attack is 241. Defense is 195, and stamina is 207. So being an electric type, it only has one weakness, and that is um, ground type. So we're gonna go ahead and go down here real quick. Uh, there you go. It only has one weakness, and and it has three resistances being electric, flying, and steel. So Raikou is looking pretty good in terms of the stats here. And not only that, but it has some fantastic stats to, to work around with it as well. Which is also really good about it. So, But what makes it even better is that the, the moves. So let's go ahead and talk about the moves here. Granted, um, possibly we might get a, a, an, an exclusive move for, for the Raikou Raid Day. But I think personally, I, don't, I mean, I can see them doing that. But... Here are the moves it currently gets. It gets Thunder Shock, Volt Switch as the quick moves. Charge moves is Thunder, Wild Charge, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt. So, yeah. So, ideally, the best moves that you want on Raikou is going to be the uh, Thunder Shock and Wild Charge, which is going to be doing the most damage. And Raikou, on par with Elect of Electivire, if you guys have seen my other video of me talking about Raikou before, you guys will know that Raikou is. Actually, Raikou is is on par with Electivire. Electivire has slightly more DPS than Raikou, but Raikou has more bulk and, and defense, so Raikou will definitely last a bit longer than Electivire. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it on Raikou. So now we're going to go ahead and go into a raid guide, because now we know that we're going to be getting Raikou Raid Day come June 29th. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and look into the guide. So, I will see you guys there. Alright guys, so here we are, we are on the Raikou Raid Guide here on GoHub, and they actually did update the uh, the CP and the uh, the numbers in terms of of the stats ever since we had the CP Rooker, because this is actually the, the second time, only second time that we ever had Raikou in Raids. We had it in field research for quite some time, but we never had it in Raids. We only had it in Raids one time, and that's it. Other than that, we never had it in Raids, but other than that... We're looking pretty good. It's, it's, it, this is our second time ever we're having Raikou. And mind you, because it's going to be part of Raid Day, it's going to be reduced to a Tier 4. So it's not going to be a Tier 5. So these numbers are not going to matter because it's going to be reduced as a Tier 4 because it's going to be, I think, during Raikou Raid Day. It's going to be during, it's going to be having its Raid Day, So just so you guys are aware. So ignore this number, but the, C, but the IV numbers are still going to be remaining the same. So... If it was a tier 5, you see here it has a max CP of 45,435 and a 100% non-boosted. It's going to be 1972 and then, and that's it with no weather boost. And then if there's no, and, and then if it happens to be rainy, you're going to be looking for 100% boosted. You're going to be looking for 2466. So 2466 if it's boosted. Otherwise, you're going to be looking for 1972. So again, 
<coughs> keep in mind that Raikou is going to have only one weakness. But before we go into the counters, let's go ahead and take a look at the moves it gets one more time. So Raikou gets Thundershock, Vol Switch as the quick moves. And then Charge moves, it actually gets four moves between Wild Charge, Thunderbolt, Thunder, and Shadow Ball. So three of Raikou's Charge moves are going to be Electric type moves, while the fourth is going to be a Ghost type move. So with the Shadow Ball, it's going to be actually be a little bit more trickier to take on, but not as bad. But other than that, it's still it's still pretty good. It's still very fairly easy to take out for sure. So let's go ahead and go into it because we, again, because keep in mind it only has one weakness. So here are the optimum counters for Raikou here. So obviously, number one counter is going to be Groudon with Mud Shot and Earthquake. Also, right here, and then if you don't have Groudon, there are some other choices. You can go right Rhyperior, Mud Slap, Earthquake, Mammoth Swine with Mud Slap, Bulldoze. We also have Dawnfin, which now has access to Mud Slap. Must slap an earthquake there. Swamper will also be pretty good against the Raikou with much shot earthquake. And then we have Flygon with much shot earthquake as well. So these are your top six contenders to take on Raikou. So yeah, so there, there you go. There you have it, guys. So those are the, the top contenders. But there's still some more Pokemon here, which they don't list here. But um, you have Dragonite. They also list Dragonite with Outrage, Steelix. You have Snorlax, Machamp. You can also use Pokemon like Rhydon. You know, there are some other ground types you can use, but these are the ideal uh, ground types that you can you want to use against Raikou, especially the top ones being Groudon. Oh, they also didn't mention Garchomp. Garchomp is actually going to be really good as well against Raikou. If you have a Garchomp with Mudslap, uh, Mudshot, sorry, and Earthquake. Um, Garchomp's also going to actually, actually in some situations, Garchomp actually might perform a little bit better than Groudon because Garchomp is a ground and dragon type. So you're going to actually be resisting the electric type move 75% better because you're taking 50% less. You're, 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 you're quad resisting the, the electric type moves with your ground type moves, basically with the ground typing, and then you're resisting the dragon typing by 25%. So basically you're resisting times six, if I'm not mistaken, but basically you're taking 75% less damage than normal. So you're gonna be doing really well in regards to that. So if Raikou has electro type moves, you definitely may want to consider using Garchomp. If you have if you have a, if you happen to have a whole squad of Garchomp, you definitely want to use those. Garchomp is going to be a fantastic Pokemon. If you can have if you have access to them, if not, you know we're we're gonna get Groudon. I believe we can, we're can. we going to be able to access Groudon, I believe, two days before Raikou Day happens. Because I believe Groudon is going to be coming back to raids on the 27th. So, Groudon should be returning on the 27th. So, you guys will have two days to at least get some Groudon. So, yes, Groudon comes back on June 27th. So, just so I just, I just remember on the top of my head. But, in general, these are your, these are your top contenders. They didn't add Garchomp, but Garchomp will be a fantastic choice if you happen to have some on the side ready for you if you guys if you guys have some garchomps definitely want to use those you'll be taking a lot less damage with garchomp than groudon but groudon's still fantastic in general along uh, as well as rhyperior mammal swine dawn fan swamper and then flygon flygon actually also is going to be really well it does really well against raikou because it's also ground dragon so the same resistances that garchomp has also is the same it shares the same with flygon so that's actually good. Flygon actually does will make a pretty sweet choice. Only difference between the two is that Flygon is not as strong, but you know it's definitely not a bad choice whatsoever. So if you if you got if you can only have if you only have access to Flygons, those will still be fantastic as it is. You'll definitely survive quite some quite for quite some time, and you'll do really well as it is. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm not gonna make this video too long because I'm gonna get started on some Kyogre raids soon, assuming I can find some. <laughs> but um, anyways, um. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Were you guys, you guys excited for Raikou Raid Day? I know I sure am. And I should be having a Raikou guide. Or rather, a Raikou Raid duo, hopefully. If that, if that comes out according to plan. And I got somebody calling me. So I'm going to have to decline that and call them back in a bit. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll keep you guys posted regarding Raikou Raid Day. So stay tuned for that. And I'll be having, hopefully, I'll have the Kyogre Raid guide up tomorrow. Um, not not right guys the uh, Kyogre challenge a uh, Kyogre challenge tomorrow so stay tuned for that and with that I'm gonna end this video thank you guys for watching and hit that like button subscribe and comment if you guys enjoy and let me know what you guys think you guys are excited for shiny Raikou because uh, I know I sure am so with that I'm out of here thank you guys for watching and I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys next time take care